good morning boys and girls um it's it's lovely to be here and i hope you guys had an amazing week um and you are just ready to hear the word of god i hope um my name is sipesile sangweni um but you can call me spam so before we start i would like us to think about something for a bit um i would like us to imagine imagine what it would be like if you were a king let's talk about the treats you could have imagine living in a palace having servants um and even and even wearing it and even getting to wear a crown like a proper king like all the spoils you you can imagine i know you you, you have seen in videos uh people people um as kings being spoiled and and stuff like having people serve you not having to do anything because you are a king i want us to imagine that and before we start i'd like to pray for us why we imagine us ourselves being kings i'm going to pray for us then we'll start let's pray heavenly father we we thank you for this day we thank you lord for sustaining us the whole week we thank you lord for our health we thank you lord for waking us up today um we pray also for those who are not feeling well and we ask that you heal them lord and we trust you with our lives lord we ask that may you open our hearts today open our minds as we are going to study your word help us to understand it and may it help us to grow in your love and in your knowledge um may it shape us and, and make us like your son jesus we ask and pray in jesus name amen amen um so guys yeah i, I just ask you to imagine imagine just imagine that um i'm not sure if you guys remember but last week we So I'm not sure if you guys remember, last week we talked about a king of all kings. Yes, we were looking at a king of all kings. And I wonder if you remember who that king was. I'll give you a sec, just to think. I trust you. That king of kings was Jesus jesus himself he is the king of all kings that we have seen all the kings that we have learned about at sunday school jesus is the king of all he is the king above all kings he is the king of all nations that is what we learned last week but today we are going to be seeing something very unique something very different about this king um, it turns out it turns out he's not just a king of all kings, but he's a king who is a servant, which is very rare. Um, maybe someone would ask, "What is a servant?" A servant is is someone who looks after other people. He serves other people and cares or helps them, which is very different to what we know about kings. The kings we know are being saved, but the king that we are going to see today or that we saw last week and that other week <clears throat> so maybe someone might might ask, what is a servant? A servant is someone who so someone must ask someone might ask what is a servant a servant is someone who helps other people who saves other people um, yeah that's just a servant someone who saves other people who sees themselves lower than other people
so boys and girls from where we're reading we, we just saw um a very humble king we just saw a very different king from the kings we know a very humble servant king who gave up all he had just to come on earth and serve his people um, and obey God and in obeying God even if that obeying leads to his death um, but he did obey God this king didn't wear a crown he didn't live in a palace um, he didn't have servants but he was here to serve people a total opposite of what we know or expect from kings um, if you remember we imagined ourselves as king who had palaces we had servants we lived in, in very big and stylish houses but in his case it was different he gave up all he had he came to earth not to be served not to be to be a big thing or whatever but to serve people and to help people and to care for people boys and girls jesus did something really amazing when he lived on earth jesus showed us showed us how much he loves us jesus died for us jesus died so that we could be in his kingdom so we are going to talk more about jesus's kingdom next week but for now let's remember to thank jesus for what he has done for us um, jesus chose to come to earth as a man and jesus chose to obey god and because jesus did that we can be friends and look forward to living with jesus in heaven we know that our relationship was messed up when adam and eve sinned but because of jesus and him coming on earth him dying on our place that was all fixed and it only caused us to just believe in jesus to trust in jesus um, to confess our sins today and trust in him with all our lives and with our all that's that's just as simple as that and in closure i'd like to pray for us and ask that god helps us as we um, try to make that decision um god we we thank you for jesus and we thank you that he came as a man and was a servant king and that he died for us we thank god that jesus showed us how to obey god and love each other we ask god to help us to love and obey him just like did like jesus did okay god we thank you for jesus we thank you that he became a man and he was a servant king. We thank you that he died for us and we thank that Jesus showed us how to obey God and love each other. Lord, we ask you that you help us to love and obey him. We ask that you help us to, to be like him. We ask that you help us to, to love people like he likes them lord we pray and ask these things in jesus name amen thank you so much guys for joining us um i hope you found this very helpful and please don't forget be thinking about this be praying about this that you make jesus the king of your life you make sure that you have a relationship with jesus because that is very important it's important for us to be friends with god to be friends with jesus i mean he came he came especially for you especially for me so just welcome him in your life and accept him as your king bye